And you guys have to three thousand dollars for a bond. Doesn't matter if they fix it, they get the money back. back. I know that. Three thousand covered? It's messed up. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Three thousand dollars. So people who have taken eight feet and now made it to sixteen feet, we're going to allow them to keep it. If there's only four or five in the whole village, yeah, let's just get past it. If it's approved, yeah. if it's BPW approved, you have a list of those people who've been approved. Nobody's been approved. Uh, oh no, we're talking about the. I have some. I don't know. Okay. I've looked for them, but I'm sure Gene's got them. Okay. We didn't Nobody's allow the village of suffering. So houses as very of, close together. You know, you as can't. of now. Nothing is just been improved. Starting just, now, you can, forward, even even widening your your parking space was an okay. issue in the village. That was good that with that. Was, yeah, I'm good with that. Good with that. Three thousand dollar bond. Want to vote on it? So it's official. Yeah. I I I just you know I approached Chris, you know probably six weeks ago, if not longer, on the bonds and the bond amounts and what we were going to do, and. Until I had a board decision because the code is very unclear. Mm -hmm. Really? Shocking. I know it is, right? What about the fines? Why don't you talk to John Patrick? We did. We did. talked to him. Okay, and that's yeah. why I used to use our engineer. Yeah. yeah we that's why we're having this discussion. Okay. Because I know that engineer. Yeah. That's why we're right. here. But at the same time, <laughs> I also need the board to decide that, especially when you go to rewrite the code. Okay. What are you going to do going forward? In the code now, it allows with a permit fee and a bond. Okay. So you come into me tomorrow. Here's a check for three thousand for bond, and here's my application. Legally, I have to give it to you. What are you going to do going forward? Three months, six months, whatever you want for this lecture. Or are you going to do a special vote on it? Are you going to allow them, or are you not going to allow them? They're not allowed? Going forward. Right. Going forward. It's in the code that they are. If it's going yeah, to go through the process. Why would we want to change it? What's the width we want to keep it? Right. Yeah. Okay, so we're not going to allow them to enlarge it. Okay. Because whether it's somebody would have to say, the guy's going to put a lot and you want to put a fifty-foot lot. We're not allowing them to enlarge the area. Just yeah. say no. Yeah, but can't you can't you just I mean just max it out at some point? I mean, most families with car with you know kids and stuff have probably anywhere from two to four cars on these driveways. And I know in a lot of the driveways for our development, I mean, it's, it's hard to park cars on on driveways. Why? You know, if, you know, not saying if he has a 50 foot lot, make it 50 foot wide, but max it out at you know 12 feet or 16 feet or whatever it is. And, that's it. But like you say, do go through if you want to do it, go through the proper process to do it. But just, you know, work with the people of the village also. I mean, there's a lot more cars mm -hmm. in families now than there were years ago. So yeah. you need that real estate to park cars, especially that you can't but park cars. But we're only on talking the entrance onto the right. driveway. When I talk right, about but it's hard to when you have four cars on a driveway. If you have a narrow entrance, no, they hard. could make right. they could make the no, edge I, was, on their property as wide as you that, allow. But getting in and out is yeah. But yeah. do we want a parking lot? Right. No, but you also can't park cars on village streets for a good portion of the year. Also, right. but we don't want to create a parking lot. Mm -hmm. Parking lot right. where? You know, so, where? so it's, it's, it's sixteen yeah. feet wide, and well, that's going yeah. to be. But you got four cars. That's where you got to put them, right? Right. I mean, you have four cars. But what, who's I'd rather them in a driveway than yeah. versus two on the street at the end of the day. So, I mean, if you if the driveway entrance the way my driveway is, is ten feet, then I think, and maybe we need to look at property <clears throat> width in the front frontage kind of thing. But I would say at the end of the day, it's if you've got ten, you can create ten, no more. So if you need, you wanted to make it five feet, make it five feet. My, my, you want to make it two feet, make it two feet. But you can't double it. You okay. can't more than double. A perfect right? example. So that my goes, driveway. Right, has, so that goes back to what I asked before. What do we do when the street is paved? And somebody comes in and says, "I want to make my driveway now twelve feet, <clears throat> my curb cut." Now they're ruining Village Street. Well. Just to get into their driveway. Whatever, right. whatever, whatever you think is uh, newness, 
So, yeah. like we've done in the past, is that we would notify the residents on that street and say, we're going to be paving this street. If you have any inkling that you want to gas, you're going to get rid of your oil burn, you're going to get gas installed, or whatever you're thinking about doing, you're going to do it now or before then, or there'll be no cuts in this road for a minimum of X years. Okay. Except for an emergency, right? Obviously. And if so, you're going to give the permit, you're going to give the permit, you ought to have the bond on the contractor also. Right. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what we did in Suffering. Somebody wanted to do something along those lines in particular we were talking about. We didn't allow the curb cuts, but where, right. where they wanted to expand their parking areas, um, whoever, you know, the bond was not on you know, the, or the requirement was also on the contractor. That was a lot easier in Rockland because Rockland had licensed contractors. But Joe, to your, to your point, to talk about a parking lot, Right now, my driveway, I can fit at the top of the driveway two cars, and then at the bottom, I can only fit one. So who's to say, all right, I keep my cut the way it is, but my whole entire front of my yard, I, I widen my driveway the, the whole length of my house. That becomes a parking lot then. No, no, no. That, that, well, that's something that we have to discuss in right, but that's uh, the next step. But something that's okay. something I could do. But, but how much, no offense, Okay, South Blooming Grove has a code, you can't park on the grass. If it's my grass, all right, who are you to tell me that I can't park on my grass? You know what but I'm saying? It, it, okay. Okay. This, we go back to, this goes back to the conversation that we had two weeks ago. It's my house, why can't I make right. it 30 stories high? Right. Right. right, but I'm just saying, okay. how, why? Building, I think, is a totally different I thing. want to put a fence around my whole property. 12 feet high because I don't want to see my neighbors. It's my house. We have to, we have, to yes, have laws yes. in order to have water. I agree with that. But who, who he, has, he has three children at home, all right? And he decides, well, I'm going to adopt. Two, yeah, it's just two. He's adopting two. Right? <laughs> He's getting him nervous right now. No, no. He's not going home. Oh, right. He's, right. right. <laughs> He's going to adopt. You can see a dead rabbit. Oh, my God. Okay? No, I, I get and they all dry. And so we can't we can't enlarge the area from of the from the road. So he wants to have enough spots that his six children can either do a turnaround or park all their cars. You know what I'm saying? Do you want it to look like a uh well black top? No, I agree with that. Okay. But you're gonna start regulating, you know. You can't have more than four cars in your driveway? No, we're regulating the opening to your driveway. I know, but then he That's said... That's all we're regulating. I know. Yeah. What's but the current code as far as the how ten much feet, If it. the 10 feet stays there, we have, we have if 10 That's feet falls and he can only fit two cars, but he's got two children that drives that he needs four cars, he's not going to widen this area, but he's going to pay him over here so he can fit all his vehicles. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly. Okay. We're only trying to discuss the opening into the driveway. Do we want a 12? Do we want a 10? Do we want a 20? Do we want to go a percentage going to what you said, Tom? Do we want a percentage of the, the frontage? Yeah. My, my only concern there would be is if the driveway is that far on the right hand side of the property, right? So you still want to maintain your side yard variance unless the person goes for a, a zoning board. That's all I'm saying. Driveways have nothing to do with that. No, driveways no, 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 right my driveway. Driveway. Right driveway. Right driveway. Right driveway. Right driveway. Right driveway. Right driveway. Okay. Well, as long as you know where the property it's line safe. is, and we have it surveyed, so we don't get into a a match between two neighbors. But at the you know, I think if it's if it's a ten foot opening, you can have another ten foot opening, and that's it, or less than ten feet. And and that's where I mean, simple. That's or, where I would leave. Or just max it out at 16 feet, and that's it for the village. And, that, and that's, you know, but most of them are what now, 10? Yeah, they're 10. So if you got, so that's 20 feet. So or if you add just even another 6 feet, that's, you, you're gaining a lot of space that way. I mean. Well, then you're told, yeah, I mean, eventually you could, right, then you have basically 6 cars in your driveway. Then there's some areas where. in the village where you can't do that down in, down in where you could build those. Carriage holes, they're 25 foot lots. 
makes 12 feet. Now, now there's no curb there. It's driveway to driveway. So we have to now come up with a formula. Why, why do you need a curb there then? Because it, it's his driveway. The other but if they're okay with that, why? But they might not. They're okay now, but now the house is sold. So, now, if, now so what if they okay left a one foot curb between the two? You have your curb. One of the reasons why you have driveways open to a certain size, too, is also for your drainage. So when your motor runs off down the side of the road, mm -hmm. you have too wide of an opening. Now you have water from the street running down the guy's driveway. That is one of the reasons why they also determine. So, I mean, it's a lot of formulas that are used when they do the planning, Joe, you're on the planning board, so you know there was a certain size driver that was allowed in that zone. So, so like we did, like Tom and I discussed when I was applying for my shed in the green area. Mm -hmm. Originally, the deed was written up on a blank, like a blanket clause for the whole village, and then we changed it to do. Why don't we do? A, you need to look at these on a case by case basis because. Right. My green area, I'm able to put a shed in after I had it excavated and all that. But other people are not able to. Right. So why have a blanket clause for driveways? Why can't it be on a case-by-case -case basis? Based, like you said, go to a percentage of, all right, if you have a 10-foot driveway, you can't exceed more than 16 or 20 feet. And, and it's a, just a case-by-case -case right. basis, an individual basis, yeah. based on everything if it's done properly, with yes. permits and all that. But, you forget what I, I said about the streets are paved. Right. The streets are paved on deck. That's your problem. Okay. Now, the person decides to make the driveway wider. Now they're ripping up our street. They're ripping it's up. It's not our driveway. Right. It's our street. But they shouldn't be doing that without a permit. And if they do, but it they doesn't matter about the permit. And if they do, they should get fined. And then they get fined. Thank right. you. Okay, but. But once the streets paid, but part it's of the never bond, going to be the way it was. But part well, of the bond should be, it has to be brought yes. back to the way it was. I but mean, they're never going to get the asphalt back the way it was. See, but we're they, here. But, but a year from there, you can say, all right, it's a year old. It's right. not new anymore, so it's okay to put a cut. Well, that's, what I, that's that. what I said before. Right. If you, I mean, so you, you if give subjective. them enough notice and say for two years as of this date, there'll be no apron um, expansions or whatever. And that's it. End of story. If you do it, be aware that there'll be X amount, there'll be a dollar fine attached to it. And the street will have to go back to as close as possible, which means they'd have to salt cut the, the road and put the pavement in so it looks like just like almost new. Other than that, you, you come up with a date and any date after that, now you can start applying because that newness is over. I mean, t to be honest, you put a road down. Just like you drive a car, a new car out of a lot, the next day it's not new anymore. Yeah. You know, it's the same thing with the road. You put the asphalt down, the next day it's not new based on rain or whatever. It's not new. You give it a year. I mean, go through the four you know, I'm just saying, you know, I'm using that as an example. It's right. the same thing yeah. with the car. You drive a new car out of a lot, as soon as you drive it off the lot, it's not new anymore. Right. I thought it was a five year thing we said that we couldn't open the world up or anything. I mean, what. I, you know, I don't know how much more we can take this, but I would like to see what the code currently says, and then we've got two issues here. We need to address 
the what's ones going that on when you got a problem, right. and then right. overall we need to make a decision long term. And that's so for our, when we're doing the zoning and everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. That's, that could be all part of it. So the people who have the curb cuts unfinished. Or illegal. Or illegal. Or illegal. illegal. They're to be fined. Yes. Mm -hmm. Give them the permit. And what's the fine? 250? 250. Yeah. Well, it has yeah. whatever's in the code. Okay. You can't just make up one. Whatever's and then we, the we, could, we could set up. Okay. And then, and then we could set up a, um, um, another discussion. How do we want our village to look? Okay. <coughs> I mean, I'm not enlarging my driveway. Mine's fine. You need to vote on 3,000. All right. So, so in the next. Yeah. In the next <coughs> Three days. week or two, yeah. we'll have driven the village okay. and figured out everybody who has opened up their <coughs> driveways. And that completed. Okay. Well, what if they did complete them? And then they have to have permit. In, in, their, in their opinion, they completed Yeah, they, If yeah. they didn't have a permit when they did it. Right. Yeah. Any of so them that are going to be 